Hi kids! In today's video, Mr. Monkey and me are going to review the topic of the week. Vamos a hablar de causas y resultados y cómo decirlo en inglés, alright? So, we are going to listen to the story, the cartoon that we have here, and listen and read along, alright? Page 41. Grammar in use. B. Listen and read along. If I'm sleepy, I run to the park. That's a good idea. When you run, you feel more awake. Actually, I run to the park because my favorite tree is there. I like to take a nap under it. Very good. Now, let's talk about the present real conditional. Something that happens can cause something else to happen. Use if or when to describe an event that causes a second event. So let's see an example. If I'm sleepy, I run to the park. When another city has good services, people want to move there. All right, good. Now let's match. Uh, if ice gets warm, what is the cause, the result? It melts, very good. If you get sick, you go to the clinic. When I'm hungry, I have a snack. All right, excellent. Now, let's open our workbooks in page 33, Grammar in Use, and we are going to do this present conditional again. If I'm hungry, I have a snack. When I'm not hungry, I don't have a snack. What do you do if you're hungry? You can have a snack. All right, now let's do exercise B. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Complete the sentences with the phrases in the box. So we have the phrases here, and you have to complete and then scratch the sentence. All right, I already have it done here. Number one, when I'm thirsty, I drink water. Cuando estoy sedienta, bebo agua. If he is cold, he wears a sweatshirt. Good. Number three. When she's hungry, she eats an apple. If they are hot, they go swimming. Number four. Number five, if I'm sleepy, I take a nap. Number six, when we are happy, we sing. When we are happy, we sing. All right, page 35, exercise C. Match the parts of each sentence. Now we're going to use our colors. Yes, Mr. Monkey, what color? do you want for this one? Color red? All right, let me open it here. Good. I'm going to make it big with color red. If people want to live in a quieter place, they move to the suburbs, right? Okay. What about number two? When another place has better services, which is the correct answer, People want to move there. Very good. People want to move there. So let's match. All right. Okay. Uh, number three. Number three. When people in Ireland didn't have potatoes to eat, what did they do? They moved to America. What color do you want, Mr. Monkey? Color blue? Excellent. Let's use color blue for this one. When people in Ireland didn't have potatoes to eat, they moved to America. All right. Four. If people want new experiences, people want new experiences, what color? Pink? All right. Color pink. They think about moving. Cuando la gente quiere nuevas experiencias, piensan en mudarse. They think about moving. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, 
you can do it way better than me. All right, exercise D and scramble the sentences. Now, use the phrase, mira la frase, y vas a organizar la frase para ver cómo queda mejor. Entonces, vamos a iniciar. We have all of this really unscrambled. So, let's start with if. If people, what do people want to do to have a better life? If people, if they want a better life, what do people do? What do people do if they want a better life? So let's write it down. What do people do if they want a better life? It's a question, yeah? So you write it down here. Very good. Number two, what do you think is that? We we'll start with if. If people, if life is hard in the rural areas, people move to the cities. If life is hard in the rural areas, people move to the city. Yeah? Very good. Let's write it down. Okay. Number three. What do you think? When students study abroad, they get good jobs. When students when students study abroad, They have better, better jobs. Very good. All right. They have better jobs. Good. Number four. Number four empiezas con when o empiezas con. Okay, so number three. When students study abroad, they have better jobs. Number four. When people don't have good jobs, they don't have a good life. All right, now let's go to exercise E. Complete the sentences, use the correct verb form. If people want a new life, they think about moving. Okay, what about number two? What about number two? If people or when people. Very good, when people get older, when people get older, so here is get. When people get older, they move to a place with better weather. Here, if or when. If people is hungry, they look for food. Very good. When people, if people is hungry, if, if people is hungry, they look for food. So we write it down is, porque la forma correcta del verbo be es is. All right. Number four. If or when people move abroad, they have to learn a new language. When people, very good. When people, when people move abroad, people move aboard, abroad. All right, move this out. Good. When people move abroad, they will have to learn a new language. And if you go to the United States, then you have to learn English. If you go to Italy, then you have to learn Italian, etc. Okay, let's go now. Let's finish with exercise in page 35. Communicate. Now we're going to talk about countries. So we have Australia, Brazil, China, Ireland, Japan, and Sweden. Australia, Brazil, China, Irlanda, Japón, y Suecia. Now, ¿cómo es el gentilicio de suxfis of those people? De eh, las personas que viven en estos países. So we can use is, ian, or ish. So in this case, Chinese. Yes. Uh, Ian, Australian, Australian, all right, good, another one, Brazilian, Brazilian, Brazilian is the other one that finished with Ian, all right, good, Brazilian, 
What about ish? Here, oh, here we also have Japanese. Japanese, like Chinese, very good. And then we have Irish and Swedish. Irish, Irlandes, las personas que son de Ireland, y Swedish, las personas que son de Suecia. Swedish. Very good. Ya que sabemos los gentilicios, entonces vamos a mirar la bandera y vamos a llenar. All right? So let's take a look. She is from China. She is Chinese. He is from Sweden. He is Swedish. Very good. He is Swedish. She is from Brazil. So she is Brazilian. Awesome. In Colombia, for example, we say that we are Colombian people. She is, for, she is Brazilian. Ella es brasileña. Brasileña. Okay, let's continue. He is from Australia, so he is Australian. Very good. Es australiano. Australian. Wonderful. All right. She is from Ireland, so she is Irish. Perfect. All right, and finally, he is from Japan, so he is Japanese. Very good. He's Japanese. Awesome. All right, guys, excellent. So that's it for today. Say bye-bye, Mr. Monkey. And Mr. Monkey and I are going to see you next class, okay? Don't forget to finish the book pages. Bye-bye.